So hi, I'm Miki and that's my channel. Uh, sorry for the overtone. <laughs> uh, I'm always struggling with... Uh, this is um, a video with German language on it and I didn't want to upload it uh, with German so I must make an overtone and you must endure my overtone. Here you can see my last projects, my little... Um, uh, I always make little uh, rewind um, pu puzzle videos. Um, I destroy it, make a form, and then I pack it, pack the, the the puzzle up. And when I rewind the video, it's always funny. I, I love this video <laughs> so much. So um, yeah, here you can have you can see the the Eiffel Tower puzzle. I don't think I have it on already. <laughs> so a little forward um, look on what it comes next, maybe or not. I don't know. Uh, I really think that this uh, video of the other tower puzzle I uh, have already also in German, so yeah, it's a nice one. I think I will adding the video and load it up <laughs> so um, now I have uh, something uh, um, different um, every time I have a friendly lightly puzzle then I uh, pack up a really dark dark one <laughs> and uh, I have uh, a one in yeah here it is um, and a stalkers. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, uh, but you know this is an uh, artist uh, who makes, um, she makes, I think, um, dark, um, dark fairies or um, I even have a, a bride, like a vampire and um, the dragon uh, child, dragon girl that I have is also from from her. Um, I really love her style but it's sometimes really dark and um, yeah that makes it a little bit difficult and sometimes it's not always the nicest thing to do dark things but yeah I think it was cheap and on sale and I like the image and yeah so um, today I want to do the puzzle in a, a little bit difficult style, a different style, sorry for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's always sealed, <laughs> so I must um, open the box. When we moved, we moved all my puzzles and I stick them so the boxes hold together and I didn't lose a piece. So when I puzzle a puzzle, and I have to open it first, <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, I usually like to do my puzzles like um, um, laying the puzzle all out, um, I spread it all out, turn it over, and then search from the pieces that I would like to do. And so it comes to little sections and grew bigger and bigger and yeah, so I do usually my puzzles. Here I want to use a, a, a method from another puzzler on YouTube, uh, Vicky Makes and Builds. She, she says it's her shuffle method. <laughs> yeah, so you have all pieces in the box and shuffle through them. And find the pieces that you want to puzzle and lay it out. All other pieces are laying still in the box. So I think the method method um, with this puzzle didn't work really well, but I want to try it and so I want to do this. <laughs> the second one, um, a Cellini puzzle was really good with this method but oh yeah uh, 
it went. So um, I will shuffle through the box and select it all first edge pieces, then doing the edge and then shuffle second time to search hunt for the last <laughs> edge pieces and then I try to separate out all the lighter pieces or the pieces that um, the persons uh, and the wings and the skull in the in the pond or and the butterflies uh, and then get to the point where I can assemble the last things. Um, yeah, so I don't want to talk too much. Uh, chorus of overtone and it doesn't fit and I would start the time lapse and at the end uh, we hear each other <laughs> to give you a short resume of the build and how it was and what I think of the building and the method. So <laughs> uh, start the time lapse.
So now in the end um, we see the last pieces of black. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, every time I finished a puzzle that took me really long and really big on black or other big plain sections, uh, it's really a relief. <laughs> that it finished and I uh, really got annoyed and sometimes really 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 I really like really <laughs> yeah uh, yeah it's always a little bit uh, of a yeah but it's a really beautiful finished puzzle uh, it holds together really really well that's one of them they you can pick up it's pick up challenge you can do with that with no problem and it's always uh, so satisfying when you can um, piece a piece in it and it really feels this click this uh, fit and uh, some sections I have to move a little bit and they hold together really really tight uh, there is no loose fitting <laughs> in this puzzle I really don't know why the problem or the quality is so such diff different in in Bergen's burger puzzle. Of course, I have puzzles they don't fit; they move a lot. But this one is one of the really tight fit and really snugly and and nice. Uh, although the the picture is really dark and you have. Um, uh, really big section left uh, of these dark pieces and if the lighting and the shining uh, is not so good you have really to pick up the puzzle and puzzle with with the forms uh, the shapes and you can't see these little patterns that that in it some of them have a little color or a section uh, or butterflies or so on but uh, in the end they only look like they're black <laughs> and you have to puzzle by sheep. Uh, the method has surprisingly uh, at the beginning uh, function really well. Uh, the edges um, yeah, only black edges are a little bit difficult to, to puzzle, but um, it's a Ravensburger, the cut is unique and you can puzzle the, the edge without knowing what is in. Um, and then the, the woman and the, and the wings uh, that are separated out or shuffled out at the first uh, did functions really well. Um, I can pick them up out and uh, then uh, at, the, at the point where I didn't find so much of the pieces or uh, I have to see or look every piece then it was annoying to, to shuffle because the little edges the little strings of the, of, the, of the wings you have to see the pieces to fill in so um, I have to um, turn every piece in the box upside down so that I can see everything and sorted the rest of the wing pieces out and then uh, when the wings are finished I, I really don't get any further I must see the pieces so I show them out the, the many blacks you have to see every piece course you, you look for, for a shape for a really distinct piece and you have to find it you have to see it so it's really necessary to see and look at all pieces and then I have uh, my little tray it's um, um, I have cut it out uh, one of my Ravensburger boxes that I didn't use or the puzzle have that I glued so I didn't need the box anymore and so 
I have a, a little sheet of cardboard and then I can pick it all, uh, pick the pieces all on this plate and can move the plate. It's really, it's really um, uh, practicable. <laughs> it's really useful when you have a piece in the right direction and you search from the right direction and you know you can move the orientation so that you can yeah here I explain it in, and show it so you can always um, uh, turn it like you need it so it's really a uh, useful thing to do it on, on this when you are sorting the pieces by shape and building it by shape. So in the end, um, this was my little trick. I have looked uh, at my my times of the of the videos, and so I can say I have. It took me about eight hours to build this. <laughs> I think the four hours are. Uh, from the one thing and the uh, second four hours for, for the only for the black and yeah sometimes I wish I can stop puzzling uh, and do it <laughs> do it only the, the really nice pieces and when it comes to the black <laughs> can throw it in the, in the box and I didn't move on <laughs> but a finished puzzle is a finished puzzle and yeah, in the end it's always a really nice picture and yeah, I really like these styles of puzzles. Sometimes it's a, a little bit too dark, but um, yeah, I think it's a really nice puzzle, although it's really, really, really black. So. I think it's all I have to say. I wish you um, a nice evening or morning or whenever you look it and have a nice day and happy hobby allerseits and bye! See you in the next!